Uh, Dr. Klein, I would like to uh, see how do you think the American Society of uh, Cardiology meeting affect the education uh, of uh, the fellows, of upcoming and future fellows? I think ACC is very strong for the fellows as shown by the attendance at this meeting. Uh, there's plenty of uh, our fellows from Cleveland Clinic uh, attending and presenting uh, abstracts, uh, posters, and uh, oral presentations. So I think it's very good for, for training of fellows. Uh, we're going to touch next on the um, uh, pericardial disease that you are an expert in. Um, we have, you have been publishing a lot about this topic. You are seeing um, what I know is uh, more than 2,000 patients a year uh, total so far. And uh, I would like to know what is currently going in the research of pericardium. Well, the pericardium is sort of the, uh, sort of the skin of the heart. It's sort of a newer field. And uh, at Cleveland Clinic uh, and other places, we are uh, focusing on a lot of patients uh, with pericardial disease. Um, we're using imaging guided therapy, uh, specifically uh, advanced uh, echo and MRI to look at inflammation. And we're using that to um, help these, uh, these patients. These patients are very, very desperate. Uh, I think ACC is considering a, a, a new guidelines. Uh, I think it's very, very important on pericardial disease. In addition, uh, on acc.org, uh, there's a pericardial section uh, under the clinical sections, which uh, is very good for education of fellows, uh, for cases and, and uh, review articles. Thank you so much. That's really helpful. Um, so, what, do you anything? Um, how do you see the patients? Uh, any any new medication or new strategy for treating patients and pericardial disease in the coming five, ten years? Uh, I think um, that what's new is the biologic agents. Uh, things like uh, anakinra, kanakinabab, may have some role. Uh, as an interleukin blocker in uh, helping uh, prevent the, uh, the relapses in these uh, pains. You know, chest pain, um, these patients with a lot of chest pain, uh, these patients are very, very desperate and sometimes are on three medicines including steroids and this may allow them to uh, come off the, uh, the medicines. So I think uh, that will be a breakthrough. There's more trials on these uh, newer uh, biologics uh, in pericardial disease. Thank you, Dr. Klein. At the end of this uh, interview, I'd like to thank Dr. Klein from Cleveland Clinic for his time. And if you have, uh, or if you'd like to see more videos, please go to uh, www.youtube.com/slash/fitsonthego.